Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we're going to talk about black culture, uh, starting with a company that closed three years ago called Trap T. This video is very old, but don't worry about that. It's going to go to my point. <laughs> if you like this, you want to subscribe, hey, go ahead and check me out. If you don't want to after watching this, that's cool too. We are trying to work on a soundboard here. Um, so if you want to help donate to my cash app, we'll use the money to go back into the production. We're trying to work ourselves toward the soundboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop into the video in question. DJ, now that's the eighth time I didn't told you to have the video ready to go and ready to be up. And here we are again, looking stupid. Now, now, I, now I'm on camera looking dumb in front of all the people. They're laughing at me. All right, let's do it. Shout out to Amir King. Just realized you guys can't hear a thing, can y'all? So let me just explain what we're just going on. So pretty much this black lady walks into the place and she's saying, is this place black owned? And that's where this conversation starts. I'm using this, you guys are not um, using black culture to get gain attention. Uh, and gain you don't think this is black culture? No, I think is this Asian? I think everyone, everyone is this Asian culture? Uh, com the comedy house is definitely an Asian culture. That's uh, no, but it's the trap house though. Is that is that Asian culture? That's not culture? a trap house. Yes, it is. That's the trap house. I, I can show you where it's trap inspired from. Trap tea. Trap tea. Trap tea. Trap tea. Trap tea. Trap tea. I want you guys to trap understand, to this is not a way to debate. But this person in this video at the time was 23 years old. And this is the problem sometimes that younger people have to understand it. if you want to have a conversation you cannot berate people that is so disrespectful um i was talking to somebody the other day and they were berating me and they're older than me and i i, I tend to respect my elders but the one thing that i can't do is if you want me to answer a question you cannot ask ask me a billion questions and then expect me to just get berated like if you're saying, well, when are you going to do this and how are you going to do that? And you know what? You got to do this and that. I won't take that disrespect because you disrespect me at that point. I'll show you respect as my elder. But if we're talking business, you cannot ask me a question and then continue to berate me with more questions. That That's disingenuous. I don't like that. You're using black culture to gain customers. This establishment is uh, not black owned, but using you're stealing black culture. Is this not black culture? Trap tea, the boba plug? No, you're thieves. Asian Asian people stealing black black culture once again. Once again. It's okay, you'll be exposed though. You're not black owned. You're stealing black culture. Thank you for coming. black culture. No, I came here because I thought it was black owned. That's why I came here. I told my friends I'm supporting a black business. This is not black owned. You're not this is not black owned. She just berating them. Stealing stealing black owned. That means you didn't you didn't go you didn't go in there with good intentions. You went in there to call the scene. That's what children do. You don't have any purpose of really going in there. That's pretty much the end of the video. So why did I bring this up? A video from three years ago. This co this company has been closed. Uh, they closed a while back. They closed. Uh, I think they closed three years ago. So, or maybe not. Uh, I don't know why they closed. Doesn't matter. My quest. The the point. The reason I bring this up is because the word trap and the word plug is now synonymous with black culture. They say that they were using the word trap tea and making it to where black people wanted to come in. And even when you look at the customer base in the video, guess what color they were? Not black. There's one black person, you, and then two white people in there. So, no, it's not to bring black people in. They call it trap tea because they want to call it trap tea because trap doesn't always have to mean a place where people sell illegal drugs. Trap now is what so trap started kind of in the 1990s right we used to have gangster rap and then they start calling that same gas gangster rap trap because it was started to become more about drugs selling drugs getting drugs selling snow and all that kind of stuff and so they made it trap and then a trap house is where you would go to go get drugs illegally right you don't tend to see traps in the suburbs you tend to see traps in the hood right so 
The problem is, and I guess you could call anything a trap. I guess if there could be a house in the suburbs and nobody knows it's a trap because they don't make it obvious, right? But my point is, why do we want that to be synonymous with us? Like when I don't think that I represent or I want to be like, yeah, trap house. Anytime I see the word trap, it means black. No, you know, the word trap has been used in many different ways in this world. You can use trap as like I set a bear trap or you just got trapped or, you know, trap as yeah, or shut your trap. If you ever heard that one, I was talking to a young man the other day and we were having a discussion about black culture. And I told him the reason I don't wear my do rags on screen. Right. Speaking of that, I have a do rag right here, right here. Right. I wanted to bring that out. I wear my do-rags for my hair to keep my hair laid down, right? People understand that. People do that. We're like women wear bonnets. We, you wear these things just to keep your hair, you know, from the, the, the outside. You know what I'm saying? Right? However, even though I wear do-rags, I do not think it's appropriate to wear a do-rag on camera, like in this setting that I'm wearing it. I wouldn't wear a do-rag at an interview. I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't wear a do-rag going to the store because at every moment of my life, I like to wear my button-ups and my tie. You know, that's just the way I present my present myself to the world. It's just like, when you know, when everybody makes fun of Walmart, and why do they do that? Because they make fun of people who go there in their pajamas, people who go there in their bonnets, people who go there and don't care. I go to Walmart sometimes, and it's just a different look. You don't, I have almost never, in fact, in my own town, I don't see anybody wear a button up and tie. And I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to not wear a button up tie. I understand people are blue collared. I get that. But my point is, is people don't even dress nice. Most of the people I see these days, they go to they go to Walmart. They go to they go outside and their shirts are dirty. They're wearing sandals. Their shorts are too short. They're too big for their clothes. Meaning I'm ob I'm an obese guy. All right. Losing weight, but I'm obese. I get it. All right. But I still wear clothes that fit me. You get people who are who are fat and wear clothes that are way too small. And it's just like people don't even care anymore. Right. And so my argument to the young man about wearing do-rags is, is it part of the black culture? Is that something I should wear because I'm black? I would disagree. I don't push myself and think, oh, I'm black, so I got to wear do-rags. That's a, that's a black thing. No. No. Why do we always want to put ourselves to where it's like the worst looking thing, right? Wearing a do-rag can look nice if you're in a certain setting. Maybe, but what setting do you wear do-rags in that's a nice setting? You you understand what I'm saying? If you're at a like if you're at a competition, right? And y'all sure y'all never heard of this, this only happens in certain cities, but a wave competition where you know you brush your hair and you show off your waves. Okay. Then wearing a do-rag there, I can understand. You can go there wearing a suit and tie and look nice in your do-rag because you're wearing it for a purpose. But what other purpose would you wear a do-rag in public for? Right? It, because there's no reason to wear it. Even if you're trying to protect your hair, don't go into public then. You should have worn your do-rag three, four hours before you went out in public. That's just a sacrifice you make. And so for people to say, for this lady to come in here and say that black culture represents drugs and drugging, that's just foolish to me. It's not something we should look nicely upon. It's the same thing you hear with black women. They talk about twerking. That is not something that I want black women to be pushed towards. I don't think I think, oh, black women twerking. Yes. African. No. No, and they always try to do that. Push it back to the motherland and be like, oh, well, the African women over there, they, they dance. They're not over there dancing. They're not over there twerking. When we twerk over here, when women are twerking over here, it is a sexually explicit thing. They twerk over here to make it look sexual. If you want to twerk with your friends at your crib, okay, but people don't do it that way. They think that everybody's got to know that they twerk. They got to go twerk on cars. They got to go twerk at a store. They got to go twerk at Walmart. They got to do everything. And I don't think that that should be pushed together with black people or black culture, black trap, plug, do rag. I just think there is so much more for us blacks people than just that. When Martin Luther King was wearing a suit and tie, do you think he was going against the black culture? Malcolm X, when they, I'm not, listen, I understand they have philosophies that we don't all agree with. But still, Malcolm X, when he was wearing a suit and tie and looked nice, do we think, oh man, because he wasn't wearing a do rag, he was less black? There are black men today we see, and even on YouTube, we have the lead attorneys, okay? We have the uh, uh, alpha male strategies, right? We have those guys who dress nice. Sometimes they just wear a t-shirt. I get that. But we had our Kevin Samuels of the world. 
We have guys on TV, black men on TV that dress nice. But why, because they're not wearing a do-rag on screen, it makes them less black. They're not going with our culture. I just don't understand that. Why can't we be associated with looking nice? Why can't we be associated with business? Why can't we be associated with wealth? Why can't we be associated with such things that are of the kinder? Every time we have to talk about blacks, we got to talk about twerking, drugs, gangs. I don't want to be associated with that. You, because anybody can be associated with the gang. White people can be associated with the gang. Pete, right? Italians, they used to be associated with the mob. I get all that. Let them be associated with people who want to be into killing and uh, street life and all that stuff. Let those kind of people be associated with it. But let's not make it a black thing. Let's not make it a black thing to be in the hood. Let's not make it a black thing to be in poverty. Let's not make it a black thing to not dress nice. I don't want that. Let those people who don't want to dress nice, who don't care about life. Not saying wearing a do-rag doesn't mean you care. But I'm saying, like, let those people who don't want to dress nice, those people who don't care how they look in public, they want to have their hair all jacked up. Let those be those people. But when I see a white person in public and they got a dirty shirt on, right, and they got messy hair, and they, they dress like they don't care about life, I don't hear anybody say, oh, well, that's, that's, that's white culture. No. So why does it have to be in the hood, in the trap, getting plugged, getting drugs, has to be a black person thing when there's every race does drugs. Every race can wear a do-rag. Every race can be from the hood. Every race can be poor. Why does that have to be anonymous with us? When I think about black, I don't want to think that way. I want to, you know what I'm saying? And anybody can look nice. All I'm saying is if we're going to associate black people with anything, let's do it with the positive stuff. Let's say, you know, if you want to associate us with soul food or something like that, that's fine with me. I'm not I'm not killing us on that. That's cool. If you even want to associate us with the hip hop and the rhythms and stuff like that, I'm fine with that because there is good hip hop out there. But don't associate us with being hood. Don't associate us with selling drugs illegally out of a house. Don't associate us with being poor. Don't associate us with dressing, uh, uh, twerking in, in society. Don't associate us with that. I don't want to be a part of that. Let's, let's lift up the black man. I hate always making it. I don't like making stuff about race. We're all just one race, the human race, folks. But if we're going to do that, I think the more we start associating black people with the positive stuff, the more we can stop seeing the divide all the time. Will there be a divide at times? Yes. We just did a story yesterday about white policemen and everything going on with that. Okay. Wasn't the greatest story. It happens, but I don't want to associate myself and I don't think black people should associate themselves with the trap, the plug, the do rags, any stuff like that. Those are, those are not looked upon highly. Let's associate ourselves with the things that are high. Right. The stuff that is good for us, the stuff that makes us look good, because there are black people that are very successful in the world, just like there's white people who are poor and maybe dressed like filth because they don't understand. There's black people who do the same thing. But black people, for some reason, they get associated with dressing like filth. We get associated with being broke. I, I just don't understand that. I just don't understand that. So maybe we can start getting out of this culture talk and start thinking about better things in this life. I'll, I'll say this too. My mother, who grew up in what you would call the hood, right? My mom told me one time the reason that me and my family, we moved out of the hood. I never lived in the hood, but we moved. My mother moved out of what they would consider the hood, and she moved into a the suburbs. And why did she do that? She told me because no, sometimes when you're in that culture, in that in the hood, the people make it a culture. Like I just said, the people make it a culture. They make it to where they can never get out. They get happy with being poor. They get happy with uh, drinking all the time. They get happy with the selling drugs. They get happy with failure. They get happy with that. They, they make it their entire lives. She knew that the only way she'd ever be able to truly help the black community is to get away from certain blacks that think that way. And so she moved out. And so she helped the black people when she moved out and then she would go back. She would teach. She would, she would do all this stuff. She would do initiatives. She still does that today. She still talks on the city board. She's still trying to help black people all the time. Okay. But she couldn't do it staying in the hood because the mindset was too bad. And the same thing with this Ethiopian woman, woman saying that this stuff is supposed to be synonymous with us. Let's make a change. I'm tired of seeing black people fight all the time. I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing the comedies of black people. I get now comedy is a different world. I get that. That's just stereotypes. And I get that. We do that for every color. 
I get that. I just hate that every time I have to see comedians talk about black people, I'm talking about the young black comedians that you see on YouTube, not the like Dave Chappelle's, but the, you know, the Reggie's too funny kind of people, right? When they talk about blacks, it's always kind of gang related. It's always selling drugs. It's always that stuff. We're always supposed to laugh. And it's just like, ah, man, can't you ever make a skit where a black person is not in that situation? When we're not acting thuggish, when we're not doing that, I get the stereotype. But I feel like the more we always push it in every scenario, if you make your entire career off of black people being thugs, it just, to me, does not help us. Dress in a suit every now and then. Look nice every now and then. I'm not as saying bow down to the white man. I'm just saying a suit and tie looks good on all of us. Why did Martin Luther King, was he bowing down to the white man dressing nice? Was Malcolm X bowing down dressing nice? That's all I'm saying. We ain't bowing down if we look nice. We're men. We're grown men. I don't dress like a teenage boy because I'm not one. All right. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. What do you feel when you think black person? Honestly, what do you think? I don't care if it comes off as racist as heck. I want to know what you think. Do you think hood? Do you think thug? Do you think businessman? Do you think CEO? Right? Do you think honest worker? What do you think when you think black man? Right? And what, in fact, what do you think when you think black man? And what do you think when you think black boy? Right? If you think about a black man and a black teenager, do you see a difference in this world today? If I was looking at a black man who was in his 40s, I was looking at a black boy who was in who's 15 years old. Do they dress differently? Can I tell the difference between them? What this man's doing and what that that person's doing outside of kids and a wife and all that stuff, that's family stuff. I'm talking to you take a single black man in his 40s, you take a single black man who's 15 years old. Do I know the difference in the way they talk, the way they dress, and the way they act? Shit, is there a difference? Y'all let me know. I'm gone.